Hey YouTube kittens! Greetings from Tokyo, it's Cathy Cat! And today, things are gonna get posh! Because today, I am glad to unbox with you the very first branded handbag I have ever owned! And I'm so excited! And then people be like, hey, what, she just dressed up, like, to wear a bag? Oh yeah, girl! I'm gonna dress up for that bag! You should better be dressing up for your handbag! And here it is in a beautiful packaging, Teddy Blake. Joshirok takai is a Japanese word for having high female skills, which usually means that, you know, you do your nails properly, you have your hair prop done properly, you know how to deal with the people in your company, right? And a part of that is to actually have a proper handbag here in Japan. I'm not kidding you. Looking at the people in my office, it's so important for the ladies to have a proper branded handbag. And there goes me coming in with my backpacks. Don't judge me. One two, three, <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> have I said that I'm excited yet? Probably should keep it a bit more cool because I'm, you know, I'm gonna do the brand thing and stuff. Ah, oh, oh, oh my gosh. Ooh. Oh my gosh. So it has the Teddy Blake logo here. It says Teddy Blake, New York on it. Um, it has a nice soft touch to it. Draw strings up here. And that's where the baby is in. Three, two, one. Oh my God. Wow. Oh my God, she is so pretty. Ladies and gentlemen, my new companion, the Kate Stampato, and that's the 12 inch one in red. Oh my God, guys, check it out. So here we have Teddy Blake New York written on here. It's also on the tag. There are push buttons here on each side of the Kate Stampato bag. So that gives you the chance to open it up and make it even a bit more spacious or you close it and it keeps it nice and slim. When you open up both clasps, you can stretch it here and here and it gives you so much more space in the bag. Look at all that space. On the inside here you can see the soft leather and there are actually two zips on this side and another zip up here just for the little items that you don't want to have flying around in your bag. So the straps have like these things that you just push through almost like a belt in this kind of golden type folds up like this and you have the nice clasps and these ones are the clasps with which you can clip it on or take it off in case you don't need it. So proper brand handbags generally have a thing here which looks like a lock and then this little pouch here. Now this pouch here is actually called a clochette. There is a little key in here and there is a lock here which is supposed to you know lock your handbag and proper brand handbags have that kind of thing. So clochette actually means little bell because of the shape of this one it does look like a little bell. And in brand lingo, these parts here are called the hardware. Sometimes they have even still plastic on. So if you have plastic on, some people decide to leave the plastic on, but this one came without the plastic, which encourages me to actually use it, to be honest. Also, I heard a clochette and the stitching on a clochette is a great way to identify if it's a real handbag or if it's a fake handbag. I didn't know that. I think a, a proper branded handbag says like that you also invest in yourself. So the way that you invest in, for example, a nice haircut or that you invest in getting your nails done, it's like the investment in yourself and saying, I'm not just walking around with some kind of tote bag. I'm actually walking around with a bag in which I invested. It's like, a, you know, the same thing, maybe like expensive watches for guys. I think that's kind of like the female handbag. This one caught my heart because you don't just carry it in your hand. I'm sorry. I know some of you girls like doing that, but I am a practical girl and I need my hands free, especially when I'm interviewing people and I have my microphone out. I need my hands free. Yeah. Over the shoulder, over both shoulders. I need, oh, I need that. I need that. This girl, I need that. I need that. Fancy seeing you here. Fancy seeing you here. Domo, domo, domo. Another reason why I wanted to have the 12 inch one is the fact that it still fits into it. The reason why I got it in this size is not too big and it's not too small. The 12 inch one fits quite a lot of stuff and I wanna see if it fits the stuff that I generally carry around with me. So let's go and find out. My wallet is always huge and always overfilled. So here comes my wallet. Boom. My phone is huge too and kind of heavy. Boom. I always try and carry some notebooks with me so I can take some notes of poems or little comic strips. That fits fine. Another notebook in case I want to learn something or recap some Japanese. Also easily fits iPads. 
I generally always carry a tiny notebook with me just for creative notes and also a pen. Now since this bag is, is pricey, it's an expensive bag, all pens, never put them in just like that. You don't want to ruin your handbag. Put them into a separate bag so they are protected and your bag is protected. Bloop. Same goes for hand sanitizer. Those bottles sometimes just open up and then you have it all over the bag and it can ruin it. And especially because most of them contain alcohol, especially the ones right now that you need against, you know, virus and stuff like that. Alcohol. So don't put them in just like that. Find a little Ziploc bag, put that in there and then dip it into the bag. Any kinds of medication and similar things, small pills and stuff that you might lose in a bag as well. Be sure to have maybe a little pouch or a little bag and looky little is side, side pockets so that it can easily get tidied away in the side pockets. So from the outside, this is exactly A4. I wasn't quite sure how that would work. So I get scripts quite a lot in A4, but if I bend them ever so slightly, they do fit in and I can still take it with me. And it's not too overpowering. Once I got myself, I, I know some bags are like A4 size, but then I find them too big because I'm loading them up. I'm gonna load them up. If you give me space, I'll fill up that space. That's the problem I have with most of my bags. That's why they break. And I don't want to do that to you, baby. I would never do that to you, baby. Me and my Teddy Blake bag, we're gonna go on so many adventures and I'm really, really looking forward to it when I work for Japanese TV again, especially walking in into, you know, TV buildings and broadcasts. that I'm, I'm looking forward to strutting in with my bag going like, ha, they thought that I had only had backpacks. They actually have proper bags too. Ooh Wait a second. Maybe not like that. Now kittens, this is actually not a paid review, but I generally always wanted to have a nice branded bag and Teddy Blake sent me one. So thank you, thank you very much for that one. I'm gonna treasure it. It's gonna come on all my TV adventures once we're allowed back outside. This is gonna be my new treasure. Treasure, my treasure. And especially because I'm working in TV and media here in Japan as well, it is actually good manners for a talento, a model or a talento to have a proper handbag. It shows that she has Joshiro Takai, so her, her female skills are high. She looks after herself and she looks after her visual appearance and she's not coming in, in a little with a little backpack, which I used to do. If you're curious now, I have been spending a lot of time on their homepage looking at all the different designs and there are some that are actually way more affordable. It's kind of breaking a little bit the myths that like branded bags are like thousands and thousands of dollars because I did I wouldn't even look on those pages because I was way too intimidated and some of them you can even get for like $300 or cheaper than that and that's the price of a Lolita fashion dress so it's not like I haven't been spending these kind of prices. It's just that I was like too intimidated to even look so yeah. So, know your baby and I, we're gonna look. So I put the link down below in case you also wanna check it out, maybe treat yourself or have it as a motivation for the new year. I looked on a couple of homepages of like women who understand about handbags a lot more than I do. And they explained that handbags to them can be mood enhancers, they can be companions and they're like an investment in yourself and your pins. Ooh. That doesn't mean like I'm never gonna wear my backpack. I'm just not gonna, you know, take it to important fancy business meetings. Have you ever owned a luxurious item? And which one was it? Let me know in the comments down below. Is it a t-shirt, a watch? Maybe something like that. They're also kind enough to give me a little discount code. So in case in the future you want to treat yourself, go to daddyblake.com and there's a discount code. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Be sure to use it. Get some money off. Mm -hmm. All right, kittens, that's it for today. Greetings from Tokyo. Greetings from Tokyo. All right, kittens, that's it today. I wish you a lovely day and there's gonna be more videos coming out to you. Lots more unboxing and lots more stuff about life in Japan here. Until next time, don't forget, life should be sweet. Let's be sweet to each other. And do what you love and love what you do. See you, bye. Yeah. Don't forget, you can also find me on Twitch under Kathy Cat Underbar TV. And there's a second YouTube channel, also Kathy Cat Underbar TV, in case you wanna see some of my best and funniest moments on Twitch.